My most popular video ever is a video about God mode. That video received 28 million views on Facebook Reels, 10 million views on TikTok, 6 million views on Instagram Reels. Why does this topic of God mode generate so many views? Let's take a look and let's discuss God mode in a little bit more detail. So first let's talk about why I think the videos about God mode get so many views. First, I think that just the name God mode kind of intrigues people. That causes people to watch the video. They think, what is this God mode thing? The other thing is that in those videos, I call setting up God mode a hack. And that really triggers some people. Yes, I'm aware I'm not hacking anything. Uh, using the word hack on social media gets you a lot of views. Um, so that kind of triggers people in the comments to go in and say, this isn't a computer hack. I know it's not a computer hack, but it sure gets people talking. That generates views. That could be part of the reason why those videos do so well. The other reason is that people tend to watch the videos a lot to try to figure out this big, long folder name that you need to set up God mode. So to set up God mode, you're going to create a new folder on your desktop, new folder, and you're going to give it a very specific name. I'm pasting it in here. Um, you can't see the full name on my screen because it's kind of truncated, but I will post the full folder name in the description below this video if you want to try this yourself. So once I pasted that name in there, I'm going to press enter. What we have now is a shortcut that looks like the control panel icon. There's no text under it. This is what you get when you create this God mode shortcut. If we double click on it, we can see what God mode is, which is basically a list of all of the settings you can change in Windows. Now, most of these you can access through the regular control panel. I get that comment a lot. Well, you can just access that stuff through the control panel and you can. This is a different view of it. I don't make the claim that God mode is this super powerful thing despite the name God mode. It just takes all of these settings in Windows and puts them in one place. And let me just move myself out of the way here so that you can see this better. It's all under headings, which I can expand or collapse, which is kind of cool. Sometimes when you flip through this, you'll find settings you didn't know existed or settings that can change things that you didn't know could be changed. That's kind of cool. Do I use God mode in my everyday life in IT? No, I, I don't. Um, you can find all of this stuff through other ways. You can find it through the control panel. You can find it through start menu searches. I like to show off God mode because it's kind of neat because some people don't know that it existed. I don't see this as some huge hack. I don't see this as this um, crazy powerful thing. It's just kind of a neat trick that I show off on social media, on YouTube, whatever, because most people just didn't know it existed. So that's what God mode is. People ask me all the time, like, well, what can you do with it? Well, you can do anything you see in here. You can change any setting that you see. That's what you can do with God mode. And I'll leave it up to you how powerful that is. If you like this video, I would sure appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed.